Monday, good morning. Monday the 19th, March, 2012, by SeaTac Airport, or Washington State, south of Seattle, Washington State, United States of America. Look at these lovely poles, eh? Look how straight that is. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, <coughs> mustn't weaken. It's actually a lovely frosty morning now. New moon. This is typical, typical, typical America, and it's hurried. They don't have architecture. <laughs> get this in South Africa a bit too. I mean there's nothing old so I grump and growl about the blasted jolly old basilicas and the Roman Catholics. That's east. Sun rising. Because I've been around such a long time and you know steeped in centuries of hypocrisy. I want to go and see Mount Rainier now. That's been around for a while, that'll be alright. It's spring here in America, for heaven's sake. Hey, let's be cheerful. The blossom tree. I'll be in London in a fortnight. I'm missing Easter again, though. Hey. Grr. Anyway, can't be helped, no money. by her husband or don't talk she was shot at a place called Ravensbrook and I found those words when I was about 17 uh, I was at the Royal Festival Hall in London big music concert hall by the River Thames and I was courting this girl called Judy Dickinson a redhead <laughs> she'd come on a into school debate, a girls' school versus a boys' school. We had only boys at that time in the 70s in London. Mill Hill School. <coughs> you see, I wear my old school tie. <laughs> I can't stand all that old school tie to rubbish. My grandfather couldn't either. Oh, the old lice. See one of them before? Oop. Mm. They've got all different brands of police. They've got drugs ones and those ones and oh dear me. All these big Fords. I'd be in the back of those. Lucy Ann, my favourite girl, has had me in jail, Swatcom County. This is part of the story. For 14 nights. Courtesy of her relatives, her son in particular, Jonathan. See ya. How are you? 
You good? You too. What's your name? I'm Francis. See you. Take it easy. He's a proper old street type. We're just having a coffee together. He bought his, I bought mine. Jonathan, her son of 22, thinks he can bully me around. For heaven's sake. Calls the police on us. The second night I arrive. Brilliant. Then a little shit. Her brother's, Lucianne's brother, son, so her nephew comes round and he's giving me the heavy mob. Coming to check whether I'd, you know, the right stuff or something. Then the girls come round, her daughters, with the sprogs, eight, seven and three, and try and lecture me. That was only Saturday, the first week. In the meantime, Lucianne and I, I'm, I'm saying we're engaged. Let's get on with it, girl. Come on. The next day, Sunday, we're married in principle on the 29th of January. Then the manageress kicks in and, and gets me trespassed so the police can be called at any time they like. If I move an inch out of the wrong way. By Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. in Lucianne's dressing gown, blue one, with my scarf on, incidentally. I'm howling at a tree. I'm arrested. That was just the first week. <laughs> so it's all good stuff. And it goes on. There's more, sadly. Because the more I found out about this woman and her family, Quite frankly, the, le the less I've liked it, sadly, sadly for her. That's the way it is. No way anyone but a fool would get involved with them, personally. Professionally, if I were her, I don't know, guardian angel, shall we say, sure, I'd try and help. So, let me see if I can be that. There's a what you, happy thought. Lucianne's guardian angel. <laughs> uh, that Jack in the box. See, Jack in the box. Fucking thing's frozen up, isn't it?